Biscuit with another new video. So for the past couple months, I've been getting uh, many questions on how to put you scratch games on Game Jolt. Now I'm gonna be finally releasing the tutorial on how to do this. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to search up Scratch, obviously. Then you want to click on the link. You want to sign into your account, and then you want to hit My Stuff, and then you want to go to the project that you want to put on Game Jolt. For example, I'm just using this Game Jolt tutorial piece. It can be any project you want. Then you want to click See Inside. And after clicking see inside you want to click file under file you see a few options and you want to click save to your computer now mine's gonna save to my computer just like this now after this what you want to do is you want to go to a new site and you want to go to that site called cheap tester or HTML file this site essentially allows you to convert your projects into HTML so they can be run on game Jolt. Now what you want to do is you want to click on upload project. After uploading project, you want to select the file for the game. I'm not going to show that because I don't want to leak my files, but just select the file for the game that you downloaded. As you can see here, I'm using the Game Jewel tutorial. Now all these options below can be a bit daunting, but first, here's the title. So just title whatever your game is, so I'm just going to title mine Game Jolt tutorial you title whatever you want usually this username value doesn't matter unless your game deals with usernames otherwise just leave it blank now you can enable turbo mode this favorite favicon allows you to add like a tab icon that shows up i really highly recommend this it makes your games look really good background image you can add to show loading bar so when the game is loading you can set your own custom color bar loading image i'd highly recommend doing too just add your own loading image that probably shows like the thumbnail of the game and then just says loading if you want to make the game pausable click on toggle this if you want to make it widescreen toggle this and um a big thing here is use a custom variable color and now for a while people have been asking how i get custom variables so you simply just want to click use a custom variable color and then you can select any color you want and it sets all the variables to that. Now that is very, very helpful. Now this stuff down here you don't really want to mess with, it has to do with cloud variables and size with that. But after you're done you want to simply click HTMLify and then it will download to your computer. Okay, so now if you click download to your computer you'll see a file with that's an HTML file. Now if you want to test this you can actually simply open it up and you'll be able to play it now. So for example, if I open it up here, it just shows Game Jolt, which is exactly what I wanted to do. You want to log into Game Jolt and make sure you have an account. Next, what you want to do is you obviously want to set up a game to put this in. So, for example, I'm just going to use Puffy Scrap Shack Validity. This isn't going to be a live version or anything. I'm just showing this as an example. So, what you want to do is once you get to your game, you want to click Manage Game, this little settings button up here. This will bring you to a lot of different sections. As you can see, here's all my analytics. Uh, pretty good actually um and then you want to click packages so after clicking packages you can see all your downloads now here you actually want to click add package then you click add package it brings up all this information and you want to basically title what the package is so for example you can title it like i don't know the m title of the game or what you want and you want to put it as public and in the description you should probably enter the download uh links the download instructions is what you're supposed to do now what you want to do is you want to click add package. Now after adding package it's going to show this and you want to click manage. After clicking manage you want to hit new release. Now after clicking new, you, new release it's going to bring up this screen and you want to put your version number. So for me I'm just going to let's say put 1.5 as my version number. Now what you're going to do is after you at this stage you're almost done but what you're going to do is you're going to go into your file section. Now before you upload it, you want to convert the file to a zip file. In order to do this, simply right click on the file on your desktop and then click send to. After seeing clicking send to, you see a little pop down menu and you want to click compress zip folder. After choosing the file, it's going to be processing for a bit and it's going to say incomplete. Now it's going to say incomplete and you're going to have to select your platform. Since uh, it's an HTML file, you want to click other since it runs on basically all of these above, so you want to click other. Now it's going to process your build, of course, make sure it's not virus, etc. And after it's done, it will say active. Now what you simply do is you simply click publish release. And um, I'm not going to do this because obviously this isn't going to be a version on the game. But simply click publish release and you're done. So that is how you make a you put your scratch games on game jolt if you enjoyed please subscribe uh future tutorials soon on how to make characters and put your ga scratch game to like android and stuff like that but anyway guys on that note have a good day and bye